So this is a part 9 of student result system project. So this is ASP.NET C Sharp SQL Server project. Here we can learn how to make ASP.NET project with source code. And also the source code is available for you to download. So please check the description. And if you are watching this one first time, please watch the previous videos also. Therefore you can easily understand and you can write the program student result system. In this video, we will understand how to delete the records and also understand how to use the delete statement. So the delete is a SQL statement. So here are the part, part 1 introduction, part 2 database and tables, in part 3 login page, how to design the login page, in part 4 we discuss connection string and how to connect to the database and how to validate the user ID and password, then how to create the main page. And next in this 6 we, we, we understand how to enter the marks the 7 student login mark search and the 8 change password and now today is 9th here we will understand how to delete the records in the next one how to modify the existing data that we will understand ok so now this is delete records so if you are not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe click the subscribe button subscription is totally free you don't need to pay anything and also if you like the video click like button and when you are doing if you get any problem or any errors please write it in the comment box let me know what you are thinking so here is the project which what we are working from the last uh, eight videos so this is student result project but now we want to make delete okay so it, you don't want some records you want to delete them so let's talk about the student only so you want to delete the student records then how to delete the student records that we'll discuss today so therefore i'll go to admin main page so i'll provide a one more link okay so i'll delete this so copy this copy the link and then paste you should always paste within the form okay don't paste outside the form so this is a link button done so go to properties select link button done it is here so then i can give option called as a delete student details right so now we record a file for this so you record a page so let's create a page so add new item web form so this is admin student delete so here you can see that this is the empty page all right so now we can take out this code so this html code we don't want what we'll do is uh, there is a student list already so we select the same page so then we copy the this html code copy this so now you can come back to student delete and then paste here so this now as it is student list okay then change the option here student delete or student record delete or student okay, record delete okay so here it will we'll display the student list here so which student we select that should be get deleted that's how you want to do it so you have to select any one there is an option called as enable selection enable selection so therefore on the enable select you can able to select any one particular row now you can see that select option enabled now here you can uh, click here so therefore grid view one selected index changed so now the index will be changed so whenever you select any particular row the index will be changed let's see that how this works so here you can see the project is running here okay so So here it is okay mm, we are not yet link this one so this is the admin main page so select this admin student delete okay here it is so now you can click so the two students are selected now i don't want the so this 102 okay so if i click select 
so nothing is happening okay because we are not written any code nothing is happening so now let's see that how to select the raised number because we need to select the raised number so let's say string v1 is equal to so grid view 1 dot selected row dot cells of 1 dot text so which row is selected that will go to v1 then let us use the message box message so you can see that there is no message box here why because we are not using the namespace here so you need to use the namespace system dot windows dot forms because message box is defined in the system dot windows dot forms namespace so now see message box dot show so v1 so v1 is a string so therefore no problem so just try to make it give us a v1 save now i can go back to this browser so reload the page again select now there is a message box bc102 is selected so click again bc101 is selected fine so now we can able to select the particular row so once it's selected now deleting is easy uh, probably we already written the delete statement where we delete so we are deleted we are using that in the marks entry okay so here is admin marks so if i go here so you can see delete already i'm using here so i can just copy this and then i can paste here fine so it show me errors because we need to use using system dot data dot sql client namespace okay now you need a connection string because c1 is a connection string so that you need to copy and then you have to paste here and then the variable name also done so now this is done now where register number is equal to drop down list 1 is there but this is not the drop down list 1 now it is in the v1 so therefore you can take v1 and only register number is more than sufficient for us to delete the record so based on the register number only we are deleting the record therefore whatever the register number is selected here so that one we want to delete now this message box is not required for us so i'll just forward i'll remark it then what i do is after de deleting that we can reload the page so in order to reload the page you have to use response dot redirect so the page name is so admin student delete dot xpx semicolon so if you load the same page so what are record deleted that will go off and what are remaining that will come okay so this is the delete statement so sql delete statement will have this one delete from table name so here it should be table name then you can give the where uh, column name so this is the column name so that is equal to or any operator so here is the value fine so that's how you need to use the delete statement and then you need to delete that one so save this one now if i press enter key that is done so now i click on pc02 is happening from which one you are deleting so that we need to check so we are deleting from the marks table okay i think marks are deleted okay bc102 is deleted here okay so, but we are supposed to delete from the student table so change to student table so you need to be careful otherwise what happen so instead of deleting in this table we delete in the other table that's where the mistake is happen fine so now I refresh this select you can see that that deleted we have only one record now 
So now we can go back student details uh, BBM. So we can enter some dummy data here. Save record saved. Again, you can go back and if you go to delete, you can see that there is a one more record. Like this, dummy data are there that we don't want. So click select that is deleted. We can also ask the message box, okay, if you want to delete this record. If you say yes, then only we have to delete. That is also possible. So, how to do this? I'll show you. So, now before deleting, so this is the one. So message box dot show do you want delete this record? Okay, this is the thing. Next is the string okay, next is the caption. So therefore you can say delete record okay so this is the buttons you have to use button yes no so here it is a message box buttons dot yes no yes no both buttons we have to use okay semicolon so save this so let's see that how it works okay, so we need to enter one more record because otherwise that will be get deleted so again some dummy data here So back so here it is okay so anyhow it's get deleted because we are only checking this one otherwise you need to remark the whole code so do you want to delete this record fine so even yes say you know it will get deleted but later we need to write the code okay so now is yes, no so next what you have to do is we need to check this one so you need to use the if condition or else we need to transfer whether you selected yes or not to the one more variable so there there is dialog result dialog result is a type it's a data type so that is dr1 so that is equal to this one this message box so now what happen whatever you selected will go to dr1 now we need to check if if dr1 dot so dr1 will have the value equals so now you have to say yes button whether you selected yes or no button therefore you can use the dialog result dot yes that is a yes button okay now dr1 is also have yes then it's correct then what you can do is we can have a braces here so only if yes it should delete if you say no no need to do anything the data will be as it is fine so save this now we can go back so here it is so then now um, so here is a mark entry Sorry, you have to take the student details. So enter some number. So save. So there is one more record now. So now you can go back. So delete. So here you want to delete this record. Okay. So select. There is a message box. So when I say no, the record is not deleted. It's still there. So select. There is a message box. Say yes. Now that is deleted. That's how we can delete the message so hope you understand the concept so please try from the beginning the part one part two so just click on ibx tutorials then click videos you'll come over here so then search for part one and then you can go step by step 
learn and implement so meanwhile please subscribe to our channel thank you